Hello everyone, uh, let's start at our workshop. Please put pluses into the comments so I can see that you hear me well, see my screen. And we'll get started our journey. My name is Irina Polekoma. Welcome to the workshop. Uh, we're going to create a series of this kind of workshop. We didn't do it before, it's the first time. So what the thing about it, um, usually we're taking one um, reference and just replicate it uh, to show how the materials in 3ds Max, um, how you can do the real materials from the real life into the 3ds Max, just to repeat them. Uh, this time we went a little differently, so we're going to use um, AI to generate the main idea for the project and then create the mood board and based on that we'll create the scene. So we're going to create uh, this Bathroom, uh, bedroom, but I'll show you all the steps that uh, it was made before this picture and we'll do the same. Okay, pluses here. Uh, welcome again. Um, I will add materials that we're going to use on this workshop later to description. For now, it's just a plan and curtain then so there so you can find it. And also, please um, keep your question till the end of the workshop and I will answer them, okay? So, uh, plus is here, so let's get it started. So, um, the idea come up, like, why would we shouldn't try AI and we'll see what we get. So, um, some of you tried already some AI to generate the pictures or not. Um, I was using the Mid Journey. So, uh, if you don't know how to do it, it usually works with the uh, Discord, so you can add the bot into Discord and it will show up in your channel. But first you need to create a channel, then add it, and it will see uh, here. And then you can prompt any request here, um, for example, minimalistic, white, bedroom, natural, wood, and so and so and so. Also, um, for it, I also use this website, I'll show you. It gives you a little more uh, external parameters here so you can add. So first you add here some words that you want to, for example, just minimalistic white bedroom and then you can select, uh, for example, what kind of materials will be here. So you can see that you can select uh, brick, ceramic, cotton, fabric, uh, there should be some wood. So you can select it and then you can select the size, for example, square, vertical, standard, um, some colors in what um, tones you want to see it. Well, since it's white bathroom, uh, bedroom, then probably it's white or it can be silver color, for example, so you can select it and it will add some words here. Then you just copy it and then you Edit here, no need for that. You just paste it here and it will generate some picture. Then you select from those uh, for the one that you like the most and based on it, you work further. So for me, the main <laughs> picture uh, was not super like extremely a uh, best uh, in my opinion, but from this point I can start and do my own research what I want to see in the future for my project. So. This is the one that I generate in mid journey. And you can see that uh, this picture, you definitely not able to uh, show your customer because, well, you know why, right? So probably I don't want the concrete wall. Uh, definitely I don't like this uh, fabric on the bed. And also uh, this part is not necessary. Well, of course it depends of your floor plan because usually you starting work with the floor plan and with the planning of the room uh, but in general the mood of this picture I do like so um, light colors natural lighting well mostly all the natural lighting some wood and that's exactly what I was searching for so next step based on this picture I started to do my own research using uh, Pinterest so I went to the Pinterest uh, at almost the same request, like white, bedroom, interior, minimalistic, modern, something like that, and search uh, a lot of pictures. So I try to select the one that I do like the most. So uh, that's the one that I found. And you can see 
um, natural palette, white colors, a wood floor. That's exactly what I was searching for. And here's also the same. I do like the carpet. I do like this carpet. I like this uh, kind of mood. A lot of, a lot of wood. Um, I'm not so sure about this uh, floor, but yeah, can be chevron as well. Why not? Here also chevron. I do like this picture in general. So um, super cool white palette and just wood. That's all uh, we got here. And that's what I wanted. And here we go. It's more closer than we uh, got in the main render. So some planks on the back, uh, some wooden floor, um, curtain, and that's all. A natural bed, like perfect, perfect. And here we go more, more. You can see that I search for specific ideas, some wooden planks, how it will look, how the uh, bedside tables will look on my project, and do and search for more pictures. This one is quite nice, like uh, bed is wooden, uh, bedside is wooden, all the same, like one piece, also nice. Um, here also the color palette. And... For example, we had on the main e AI uh, picture uh, this kind of niche, but uh, for example, I found this picture and on the back is a uh, door. Can be, of course it can be, so quite nice idea as well. And here's even more closer, nice natural palette, but I wanted to really uh, white walls. So I did my research and finally I found this picture. This one, like, super perfect, that, the one that exactly I was searching for. So, um, more, and in general, I combined it, um, the pictures that I like the most. You can see this one, you can see this one, this one, this one, this one, in one piece. So, this one is my mood board, which I was rely on. Um, some color palette, and of course, the main AI picture. And we're going to create uh, this bedroom. Uh, this time we won't focus much on the materials, on the everything. Um, usually you ask a lot of questions why you start in the materials from the very beginning, um, not just using the real one that come up with the uh, model. So this time we'll try not to customize every single material from the beginning, but um, also it will be useful for you how you can uh, change the material from existing models. So I think from this point we can slowly go into 3ds Max. Um, and nobody write if you are used the uh, AI before or not, guys you can answer some i can see your question so i'm just curious if you try to play around with it or not because it's really fun you just uh set different settings and come up with different results sometimes i even said the uh, white bedroom interior and it gives me not the interior but the people i was like mm, um how <laughs> how you uh come up with it here for the people not for interior but yeah that's not perfect but sometimes you can uh find really interesting results um, so we'll start with a um, plan that I created mm, I think this one yeah uh, you have it in the description so you can try it and um, create your own bedroom or you can use my plan and create the same so up to you uh, what you're going to do you can do your own research so you can generate your idea and I you can uh, create your own mood board and create something um, exactly like you want not just like me uh but your own idea your own project it also will be uh very fun to make mm, so i'll start on the top view i have just plan uh there was nothing uh, that you need to select here like import import i didn't uh, say it with word but one more time i select the plan open and here is like oh everything by default i didn't change anything so just OK, and the plan will appear on the top view. The first thing uh, before the plan, before you add and import your plan, you always need to set up your unit. So go to Customize, um, Unit Setup, and here's supposed to be millimeters, also System Unit Setup, and also millimeters. So two windows and millimeters. Very important. Um, if you want to customize it, uh, then you probably will have some inf issues in the future. 
to prevent it, uh, please do that. Uh, the next thing is Snap. Uh, if you're going to work with Snap, you need to customize it. So first, you need to add this uh, toolbar uh, you can right click here, like on the empty space, and select here axis constraints. It will appear. I don't need brushes, but I need my axis constraints here. Uh, usually it appears somewhere in the middle, so you can uh, navigate on the points and drag it into the toolbar. And next important thing is you need to activate the last button. If you want to activate it, um, Snap won't work correctly. So activate this button, the very, very last, and then it should be fine. Uh, and the last one, you need to right click on the Snap. And usually I select just vertex and midpoint. Make sure that uh, grid is turned off. Otherwise, you will snap to the grid to this thing, uh, which you don't want at all. So select this one, only two, and close it. Uh, to activate snap, press here or plus press S, and it will be activated. So from this point, we can start building our walls. Yeah, this time we're going to uh, do a little of modeling, not just lighting and materials, and um, sure it also will be interesting <clears throat> uh, the plan you can find in description but don't try to repeat after me better repeat after because the record of this webinar will be available afterwards so you can repeat so i create the first one with a snap snap is active as you, you can see and i snap to these points um the height else made um 3500 and then I'll go to Modify tab, and you can see that it's a box, and I need to uh, make it so I can work with the vertices, uh, edges, polygons, so I can modify this box, not just box and uh, those parameters. So for this, I need to convert to editable poly, right click, um, convert to editable poly. And now you can see that instead of box, I got editable poly. If you open it, you can see vertex, edges, borders polygon um, I'm going during the work I'm going to use um, shortcuts so uh, all this um, type of modifying you can uh, select by one two three four five buttons so for example if I'll press one it's vertex edges two borders polygon so you can see all my hot buttons here so you will see where I'm switching if you if I'm not saying it let me switch to English. Okay, so vertex, I'll select them. I'll go to move to and just put it here. Next, I'll go into select polygon. I'll switch to perspective so you will see how it works. I'll turn off this bracket so I don't need it. Uh, Shift J and let's get created. Uh, if you have a 3ds Max version less than 2000. Uh, 22 uh, the shift extrude won't work so in this case you need to use uh, extrude press on this button uh, this menu is up here you can create a little distance apply it and it will do something uh, but also you need to see all the lines so press f4 first so you will see the line here and this one is here and now i can with snap 3 if you have for example snap 2.5 it won't work in perspective uh, correctly so you need to switch for perspective to snap 3. Uh, you can hold your left mouse button and select from the list now i can drag it and let's get uh, do next extrude. So I'll select next polygon, only one. This time I'm going to use shift, not just a cruise, because not just extrude, because it will be way more faster. And every next uh, polygon, as you can see, that when I press shift, it creates a new line. It means that I made uh, extrude. If I'll just drag, there was no line. It means that you made not correct. Uh, always, if you want to do extrude, you need to uh, see this line. And edges faces is for F4 to show the edges and not show the edges. So, next polygon, only one, as you can see. And more extrude. all these lines we do need so one more extrude 
and for this uh, part I can just do bridge uh, so I need one polygon uh, hold control select another one so you have two polygons and press bridge and it will close your walls okay next we need to do a uh, window opening so I'll go to and uh, just select uh, one outside with control one more inside so I have two edges you can see that I select only two be careful with that um, also I'll press ring to select all vertical edges and now I need to do connect so press on the settings of connect and we need two of them for opening like this okay good uh, next I'll switch to frontal view you can press F to switch it I'll turn off grid so it will be easier for you to see and switch to um, vertices now I'll hold my mouse button to select all the uh, vertices in this line and I'll set the um, height of it oh I need to switch for absolute yeah and here I need uh, 600 for the bottom line for the top one we set um, 2920 yeah it's good and the next one so here is our window we need to do this opening so here is two way if you have older version of 3ds max uh, you should select one polygon another polygon and do breach it will work if you have more uh, version like 2022 2023 you can select only one um, hold shift like we did for extrude and just drag it outside and the opening will be created but it won't work in previous versions only 2002 2000, uh, 2022 2023 um, guys keep your questions till the end please and I'll answer them uh, but for now we're going to add some uh, floor here so for that I'm going to select spline because uh, I will use floor generator it's external um, external plugin that you need to install to your Max, and, and it works only with spl uh, splines and with plan, uh, plane only with that because if you apply to um, box for example your Max will crash so don't do that so I'll go to splines uh, rectangle I need my snap uh, but this time I'll select 2.5 um, otherwise my rectangle will be on the top of the of the walls because it snapped to the uh, very top point in the snap of uh, three so I'll change it to 0.5 and create my rectangle well I can create here I think should be fine and I'll go to modify tab I had uh, have them in the hot list of modifiers uh, but you can find it in the modify list only if you install it if you haven't installed it separately you won't have it so floor generator uh wait let's do some 2020 um this one can be like 2000 3000 um mostly it depends of the size of the texture that you're going to use so for now i'll set 2000 and we'll see what we're going to use and uh change it if it's needed uh so main is like the weight of the planks okay uh, next I'm going to add some extrude usually I do almost the same parameter so extrude is the height of the uh, floor generator and bevel it's um, the size between the planks so I'll set one for example and now we need to plus those two numbers and put this floor uh, down so it will start from the zero coordinate you can see that it's higher now but when you um, set some furniture on your flooring it should be on zero coordinate uh, well it's more logical okay so here I'll set minus uh, 20 and you can see it's a bow um, not a bow um, uh, in zero coordinate is starting okay I'll turn off isolate selection and let's do the base flooring that it will cover everything just in case uh, because 
Uh, here you can see some distance uh, between the planks, so none of the lighting will come up through it. So that's why we're going to create some base flooring here. For that, I'm going to use just the box. Um, the height can be minus 100. On the left or um, front view, you can see where located and also now it's on the same as the flooring but it should be lower otherwise it will be intersecting it um, which is not good for sure so for the base floor we'll do the same so minus 20 and you can see now it's under um, the floor okay uh, we can lower a little bit the um, walls so there won't be a that huge hole between. So select walls, go to modify, vertices, select the bottom ones. And with snap, I can put it on the very bottom point. Okay. Now I'll select all, control A, change the color. Mm -hmm. And it's good now. Um, next one. Well, next one we can add the furniture. So, as I can say, as I said, we're going to use a ready-made models with ready-made um, materials. So first, mm, actually not first, first we probably will add some planks here and then we will add furniture. I think it would be easier for uh, to do that. Um, I'll sell just a plan. I think so. Just the plan is elated, so nothing will uh, distract us. And I'll create some planks. Yeah, it snaps somewhere in the points, uh, so I need to change. So uh, length is 40, so here will be 40 as well. Now I can move it and snap to this point. And we need to customize some height. I want to increase you even more. So I think around uh, 1,500, 1,600 should be enough. And to make a lot of copies, uh, there is two ways how you can do it. You can, uh, for example, make a copy with shift, um, make instance, for example, and do a lot of copies if you want to uh, but here won't be like specific size you just move it and some size you uh, get if you need some specific size between the planks then you need to do next you select um, this box and go to a tools all right I have it on my shortcut so I can press one button and it will appear but you can find it in the tools so array next uh, you need to search the coordinate where you want to create these copies and then you need to set uh, the amount so if i'll set 40 but if i'll set 40 the copies will go to the right i need to the left so i need a negative amount so minus 40. then you can press uh, preview and you will see what you got and you can see that uh, 40 is very next uh, step after the first box so in this case i need to double uh, amount and we got 40 between the planks. If you need less or more, uh, you can see how you can uh, manipulate with that. But definitely I need way more copies here. So increase the size till it will be the same uh, point where is my plan. Yeah, I think so. And I can apply it. As instance is fine, is copy is fine because anyway we're going to convert it and attach everything so it won't be separate parts uh, but one object. So we got one, we can convert to editable poly. Now I'll go to attach and select all these boxes, press shift and attach them. So for now it will be one object, not just separated boxes and it will be very easy for you to select them also i need the main box on the back also it will be wooden material so on the front view i can create one box here uh, with a snap two well it can be snap three for example so it will be exactly 
where your box is but anyway you will need to move it because it will be on the front and we need it on the back uh, but if you will uh, create with snap 2.5 it will create uh, the box on uh, zero coordinate anyway you will need to move it so it doesn't really matter but i'm going to uh create it with snap 3. Just with snap, uh, height, I don't need that much, so I need like minimal, like 5 millimeters, 10 millimeters, something like that. And now I'll switch to top view. And you can see that it appear on the front, as I said, and on the top view, I can move on the back. Also with snap would be nice. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes, guys, this webinar will be recorded, but better be online so you can answer, uh, ask your question in the end. So I will answer you. I will answer them. If you won't be here, then you won't be able to ask any questions. Okay, I'll end this alert with right click. And now I believe we can add some furniture. I'll do it on the top view because if you do it on perspective or front, um, probably your models will be rotated on 90 degrees or something. So always better to merge your object to the top view. Uh, so let's select the first one. It will be um, bed. Which one? Almost all the same. I think this one. Yeah, perfectly. This one is good. So I'll select it. It's a flex form. Um, I'm going to use this um, file because you can see the, uh, there is materials for V-Ray and materials for Corona. I don't have V-Ray uh, in this 3ds Max. I didn't install it yet. Uh, so if you don't have V-Ray on your computer and you will uh, move this um, furniture to your scene, there will be none of the materials and you will need to customize everything from the very beginning. But since we want to use some materials, so it's important to select Corona this time. Uh, but if you're going to customize from the beginning, it doesn't really matter what you're going to use. So I'll just drag it here, select the merge uh, furniture and I'll set it uh, without snap. I don't need it at all. It's fine if there will be some distance here, um, not like exactly from the wall or exactly on the panels. There always should be some gap. So it's even good if you uh, will have some distance between the objects. But I will want to move it somewhere in the middle. Um, it's a group. I need to open it first. I don't need those tables, so I'll just select them and delete. And here we go, our bed. Uh, but you can see that on the plan it's wider. So I need to change its size. So I'll close group again. Um, and you can do it in two ways. So you can scale it, for example, uh, by uh, two coordinates. Well, actually not by two coordinates, only by X coordinate. Or uh, I usually use the modifier with name F of D2. Um, for this case, it's easier to manipulate it. I have it here, but you can find it in modify list. So I'll select F of D, but um, the object, the bed have to be selected. Um, F of D applied on the whole group. It's fine for me. Uh, sometimes you need to do separately if the if the um, some fabric looks weird. For example, your um pillows doesn't look like nice uh size or something uh, so in this case you open the group and apply the modify exactly on the parts that you want to change it but in this case i believe it uh, should work fine so you need to open and go to control points uh select the first one and i'll move to this line move it here and the other side um, but you can see the back of the bed, it's a little bit wider. So that was the main idea. So it will be wider than the main uh, part of the bed. So I need to convert to editable poly first because I don't need any extra modifier on top of my uh, object. So convert to editable poly, open group select this part but it's the whole one part and I need just the back one 
um, I need to open it, go to element to select this part and just detach it. So it will be separated object. So detach, okay. Uh, exit element, otherwise you won't be able to select this part. Okay, and now I can select it and again um, apply F of D 2 to 2. If you select another one, for example, not 2 to 2, but uh, box or uh, 444, 4, 4, uh, because there are different ones like 2, 3, 4, it will be something like that. And in this case, you'll just move a little this part, but this one will stay on the same um, on the same uh, place. Uh, sometimes uh, it's good to use it, uh, but in our case, um, it's not necessary. I want to change the size of the whole part. So FFD2 is good for me and do the same. So one part to the line of the plan and another one. Okay, exit and we can go to the next part. Um, we have some bad side tables um, it's not ready-made model it's just boxes so nothing complicated um, those kind not complicated models you can uh, create in five seconds so i believe it won't be complicated for you to do so i'll select uh, plan uh, go to isolate and i'll start just with the box i need some snap and create the size as we have here uh, well the height we will see what kind of height we need uh, it doesn't really matter what you have here like negative or positive amount it just will um, uh, make it on the top or make it on the uh, bottom height uh, anyway you will uh, lift it up okay let me end this late because I'm not sure what kind of size it should be probably a little higher so 250 and the height maybe a little higher can be okay good now I'll again select the plan uh, with control to select the box and the plan is elated so I'll work with both of the uh, bed size tables so I'll select one make a copy with shift um, as instance I'll snap to this point and now I'm not going to convert to editable poly because if I'll do that it won't be instance anymore but the main idea was to keep them instant so Everything that I'll apply to this model will be applied to the second one as well. So in this case, I'm going to adjust edit poly as modifier. So I have it here, or you can find it in modify list. And now I can go to adjust, select those lines, only those. So it will be um, for edges selected. I don't need press ring because I select all the lines. But if you click only on the one, then you can do ring and it will select all the way. Um, and I'll do connect. Okay, one line is fine. Um, and I want to do um, this part. So, uh, there a part that you can open. I'll just move this uh, with snap till the very, very beginning uh, to add exactly the size that I need. Usually it's like around uh, 10, 12, 15 um, millimeters. So, here I'll switch to local. You can see the arrows is changed to local. And now I need coordinate, so it's wide, and uh, the amount that I need to move. So 15, and it exactly on the 15 is moved. And you can see on the other shelf, the line is appear as well. So if I'll move it, the line on the other one is moved as well. Next, how we can do it in the easiest way is go to chamfer and set some amount. For example, well, five is definitely too much. So maybe two and I'll click this tick to delete the chamfer, but I think it's too much. So I can make it even smaller. I think, yeah, I think a little bit, uh, it will be enough and now I can apply it. So it's separate two parts, but the thing is that inside we don't have any polygons anymore. So it's not closed geometry. You can see that I'm not able to select the one that I select is on the bottom, not uh, inside, but we definitely need to close geometry to see uh, some chamfer later and so on and so on. So 
if you want to do it, um, this part won't be chamfered. So you need to go to poly uh, border, control A to select uh, not close the geometry and press cup. Now it closed it, you can uh, check it on polygons. Now it's selected on the one side, on the other side and everything is good. And finally we can apply some chamfer. But you can see the weird gradient is appear. It's, uh, it's trying to smooth all the, um, all the uh, table which we don't need. So uh, if I'll turn, turn off the edges, you can see that these uh, parts is trying to be smooth without any corners. And we need to keep this corner. So you need to go in the settings of the chamfer and select here smooth chamfers only. And finally, it looks fine. And I believe the size and amount is enough. It will be far, so we don't need uh, to add a lot of segments. But if you will do some close up, for example, on this corner of this table, then you can add some segments and it will be more smoother if you want to. But in our case, it's not necessary, so I'll keep it by default. OK, now I can add isolation. And what else left? Mm -hmm. uh, we need carpet and the furniture here and some decor. OK, for the carpet, I'm going to create it from the box. So you will see how you can create the easiest box, uh, the easiest carpet ever. So again, I'll select um, plan uh, box and with snap snap it doesn't really matter which one i'll create a box uh, the height uh, usually it's around 10 20. so it's just regular box uh the next one that i'm going to do uh, for to see the edges i will add a lot of segments here um why do i need it um if you want to modify your shape of the box a little bit it will be just straight box and not super interesting for the carpet carpet usually have some uh, bombs some not too accurate angles uh, like it can be like uh, moved by lack by food by something um, so it won't be like extremely straight and we need to uh, customize the shape a little bit so it will be more interesting so usually i add some um, more or less uh, rectangular shape you can see like the all size more or less the same. It's not uh, like you have to do like that. It can be different. Um, but for now, it's like that. Next, I need to smooth uh, those lines. So I don't need straight as well. So it, it should be like way more smoother on the uh, side sides. So I'll go to add uh, one more chamfer for the carpet come closer here and for this case I'm going to increase amount for sure so it will be way more smoother and uh, yeah I need a little more segments for sure maybe even three well two is fine and also I'll select chamfers only I think yes yeah, should be should be okay well, you can increase a bit more segments, but three, it will be far. Uh, so we need the main idea of the carpet. So looks good. And now we will modify a little bit of shape. As I said, it will be super fast. So I'm going to add modify with name um, noise and just play around with uh, those strength. So you can uh, change the amount and you can see the uh, shape of the carpet is changed by one coordinate so uh, one you can add another one of course we don't need that strong of course uh, it should be a little bit so slight of that um, also you can change the scale so it will be bigger it will be uh, smaller um, but yeah not that strong we just need a little difference so it will be more alive not just straight box so little parameters slightly visible but more interesting in general yeah i think something like that should work good um after that you can convert to editable poly the less modify you have in your scene the better so i think i will do oh why why are you jumping um 
I think I'm happy with this size and waves and everything. So yeah, I'm going to convert it. Uh, right click, convert to editable poly and isolate. And, and one more important thing. Well, in this case, it probably won't be super visible. Uh, but sometimes when you have uh, some furniture, some tables, some um, armchairs and everything standing on the carpet, always lift it up a little bit. Otherwise, it will be on the carpet and it won't look good. So I need to select my bed, the whole part. There are two parts, so you need to select both of them, the carpet and uh, isolate selection. And on the left view, for example, you can lift up a bit. I press right click on the move tool or you can move it here. Um, it doesn't really matter, but it's a little on the top. I can lift it even more if I want to see some gaps, but well. Uh, as I said, in this case, probably won't be visible at all because this leg of the uh, bed is somewhere on the bottom and we probably won't see it at all. Okay, and this is and let's add... Um, mm, I think the table we can create with this one. Something box, we won't see it anyway. Uh, if you will want to put some um, other table, uh, feel free to do that. But for now, just using this box, I'll just modify a little uh, its size by vertices um, according to the plan. And probably just not that huge. Something like that should be fine. Um, maybe I'll move closer to the wall so it will be like standing there. Or maybe not. Or maybe yes. I'm not so sure. Okay, and the chair also from the models. So, uh, chair, this one is Maltini. Okay. Uh, we have uh, two coronas here. It means the someone, I don't know, maybe people using still a 2000. 13, so it will be available, but I'll usually take the latest ones without any numbers. And now we need to see which one we do like. Um, the closer one to our color palette is definitely this one, not the white one. Um, the table was uh, dark, so I need to select only this one. I'll isolate it and I need to unselect this one with alt if you click just on the table you can see that uh, there are a lot of uh, parts so i'll need to unselect the frame and this one i'll just delete so as uh, the table that left i'll just create a group because there are nine objects selected i'll definitely don't want to select all the parts uh one by one so group um group um you can rename it if you want to you cannot rename it if you want to up to you usually it very easy to add some names and then you will uh, s find exactly what you wanted and pre place it somewhere here okay Control a i'll change the color okay and then ding 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 the core so the core is left. Uh, let's add it. Mm. The plant it was from the core set. This one. Um, I'm going to use the whole one, the vase and the main flowers. Mm, where is the mux here? I love when it's in a separated uh, folder. The mux files and the textures and this window said that the model was created way more earlier version just press ok and it will be fine also isolate i just need the one that bigger and delete another one again group open uh select the tree uh control i to um select invert and just delete and the last group is a left the vase 
and now we can place in our table I'll probably rotate it I have snap uh, by angle uh, it means that I can rotate every five angles uh, if you need specific um, amount if you not you can rotate uh, whatever whenever whatever and so and so and so let me see how it in our scene should be fine oh yeah one um uh, one of the important thing for the plan it should um stand on something it can just stay straight like you can see that on the vase it's just standing well actually it's just hanging somewhere in the middle of the vase um and that's not happen in real life so you need to put this tree a little closer to the uh, side of the vase so if you will do some details it will be like in real life like it's just not just standing in the middle it's a little thing but kind of important thing so i need to open group uh select oh okay it's separated parts so i need to select them all not the group um by itself not this brackets because if you will move with brackets it will move everything with ways as well so unselect brackets and now i can move it for example to the right well better probably on the perspective see where we are moving it well you can click on the right and move somewhere okay in the crossing now so probably i want to mm, do, 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 do the right maybe okay i think this one should be good and of course there should be a little gap between just a little distance for the gap okay that's good uh close the group i did it with the uh shortcuts but you can close it here group close okay uh, a few more things left so the core uh for the left table uh it will be a uh, light floor and table this one the whole model mm, i have only one file here so merge I'll rotate it. I don't need this uh, <laughs> wire uh, be visible. Uh, I need to lift it up on some left or front view. Okay, let me see. Hide on the planks. I think should be fine like that. Okay, good. And the books. Uh, the core books um yeah this one too looks nice so we can use it also corona and beret if you want to keep materials uh select corona if you're working in corona if in beret then select v-ray okay oh and select the books group and some line is appeared that's why you usually better to open any ready-made material um object models in the um clear scene without anything uh so there won't be any errors errors when you will add it to your scene so this line i have no clue what is it so i'll just delete it now I'll select group again open and i just need those books select invert Control i delete that i don't need and also one more group delete the top one oh there is a lot of them and close the group and isolate uh set on the right place if you're not sure where is it you always can select the table isolate selection with the books and set where it should be and also always keep some distance between the uh, furniture and the objects do have a nice shadow later okay good i think it should be enough and the last one i think is uh curtains you can find it in the description it was made in marvelous designer so you can use it uh yeah Curtain you have for uh, 2020 version, I will save it. So if you are using more, early, uh, more earlier version of 3ds Max, then 
would be good for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the last one, of course, is ceiling. So let's create it. Um, box. Uh, we have some lighting and also um, some, uh, not shelf, but uh, hiding the curtain on, on the uh, ceiling. So we need to uh, move it from the walls a little bit here and, al and also on the other side. So let's do that. Um, I can select curtain, select walls, isolate selection. So the floor won't distract us and create the first box. Oh yeah, we don't need that many segments for sure. So I'll set one and one. Okay, good. Um, the height usually I set for 100, 100 for um, ceiling, but it doesn't really matter uh, what size it will be. And I'll set a little lower of the of walls. So let's move it here with a snap and now we can uh, create these gaps. So convert to editable poly, uh, vertex, I'll move first this one. Uh, you can look at your curtains, what the distance is enough for you. But of course, if you have like super wide the curtain, definitely you don't need to set uh, 500 there. So usually it's around um, 150, 200, something like that. In our case, I believe we just need to not integrate a curtain and it would be nice. For this one, also not too big distance, something like that should be enough. Okay. And uh, the last part we need to base uh, for the ceiling. Otherwise, we will get some lighting on the top uh, through the curtain, which we don't need for sure. So another box, uh, snap three. So it will appear on the top of our walls. Um, height also 100, not minus 100, but 100. And you can see that it's exactly uh, above our walls. Control A, uh, change the color and isolate. And let's check if we add everything that we needed. Yeah, I think so. Okay, good. I'm using Corona 9. I'm going to use Corona 9. So the last latest one. And for now we're going to create Corona camera. So it's somewhere from the corner, as you can see, like straight on the uh, bed. So I'll start creating somewhere here. Um, I can switch by pressing C in perspective and I'll switch exactly into Corona camera. Okay, now we need to set the frame. So since we have a vertical frame, so we need to set it up. I'll select um, render setup um, and here you can set your size. So instead of um, RGTV, I'll select custom and now you can set any numbers that you want to. I'll just going to use the same amount that here, but uh, if I'll set um, 800, to 600, uh, it will be like a um, horizontal view and I need opposite. So he will be 600 and he will be 800. And definitely uh, for final render, you don't need this size, you need uh, way more bigger. So usually it's like uh, 3,500, 4,000 and so on, so on. So, so I can set, um, yeah, by high 3,500, uh, but you need to log this uh, look, if you won't do it, you will change just one side, but not the other one. When it locked, uh, it changed automatically um, the same um, image aspect and it will change both of the sides. Okay, next one, I'll press this lock. Uh, so this view will be uh, for render. If you won't do it, when you will switch to another viewport, uh, the render, render will switch as well. Okay. And one more thing, performance, uh, fast preview the noise, I usually turn it off. Um, now we need to activate this frame, so press Shift F and finally we got it. F3 to see, <laughs> uh, not just a uh, wireframe, but you can see that um, camera is um, further from the walls. Um, well, we can cut it, so I'll select camera 
and here you can find environment and clipping mm, enable it and increase this amount usually i'm starting with um 1000 but sometimes it's not enough oh okay uh it's not working because i'm in creating mode but not in uh, modify tab that's why i don't see any uh, changes here so you need to switch uh, to modify tab and repeat it again so environment and uh, clipping enable and one more time okay now i can see uh so the angle of this view um i'm working usually in millimeters so uh we can use for example 50 millimeters it's exactly how you see the interior and air environment um from um, the same as you look at it like in the um, photography when you use lens 50 millimeters it means like you see it in your eyes <laughs> the same you will see through the camera here also if i'll uh, change to 50 it will be exactly like i'm looking on interior with my eyes uh, if you make it uh, closer it will be more um, narrow angle but usually uh, as more as more narrow angle is is more like for uh, close-up shots not for the main room we need to show a lot of objects here so otherwise it will be um, 50 millimeters or even wider to catch uh, the more walls of your interior so as many objects as you can uh, set in your camera so let's back to 50 and now we can customize it a little bit actually it's almost perfect maybe i'll uh change the height of the camera a little bit so uh, what can i do a little maybe target move a little bit also so you can manipulate with target you can manipulate with camera that actually is good I don't want to change it much. Uh, maybe I'll move it more here. Maybe I'll uh, come closer. So I'll press Alt Z. Uh, you can see that my uh, mouse button is changed uh, to arrow. So you can press here to zoom in or zoom out. So I want to see a little less of the uh, chair. Let me see what we have here. Yeah, actually, it's almost uh, what we need to get. Maybe a little further. To see a little more of the table here also i can rotate it more if i want to so you can select camera or you can rotate in the main camera yeah probably here will be easier to rotate it uh, but turn off the angle otherwise you will rotate only by five degrees and hold shift if you need straight line Okay, come closer. Good, I think so. Like it's almost uh, perfect. Well, you can rotate even more if you want to. Maybe a little closer. And I believe is nice. Maybe a little further. Okay, a little more rotation and we're done with the camera. Almost, maybe I'll move more camera up or down. Where do I want to? Nah, something like that should be good. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe I'll rotate a little this armchair to get more legs and we done with the camera. So you can see like it was super, super fast. Uh, well, we set up the camera around uh, for 40 minutes, uh, but the modeling is not too complicated. So I believe you can do it also really uh, fast. Okay now we can start and customize the lighting but since we have uh, some materials here we need to override them because lighting we always customize on gray material no matter what even if you use uh, the ready-made uh, materials anyway the lighting customizing always on the grid so um, render setup here you can uh, find scene mtl override 
Next, we need to open Material Editor. Um, of course, Corona uh, as render system in render setup, and I need to create the new one, Corona Legacy MTL. I'll do just by default as usually I'm um, selecting. So the diffuse color 90, uh, reflection 1, ref glossiness uh, 0 0.6, and reflection color somewhere in the middle. That's the main gray material that we have. Next, I need to drag it instead of none as instance, of course, if we want to do the changes in the future. Okay, good. Um, and we can um, upload um, our HDR map. So none, single map, Corona bitmap, not just bitmap, Corona bitmap in a tab, Corona. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I'll select amphitheater. I'll show you this map now. I have opened it in here. So it's um, quite ambient, uh, but in some areas we got a little more intensive lighting and I believe in our cases like uh, should work perfectly fine. We have some um, blue shadows um, on the top on our ceiling since we have bottom like a little uh, beige yellow color it will be on our ceiling and this part will be on our bottom and I believe um, work good. Um, next I'll drag this map into material editor as instance because we'll probably want to rotate it or maybe change the color um, or do some uh, modify with this map if you want to uh, move it as instance, everything that you made won't be applied to your render. And that's important. Okay, now we can start it. Inter interactive render. And the full darkness. That means that our window is closed uh, by uh, curtains. But I saw some lighting here. I believe it's from the lamp. Ah, yeah. We have some light here. I need to open group. I'll just delete it because, oh yeah, I'll probably don't want to use this kind of color in the future, even if I'll add this lighting. And for the curtain, we can um, select it. Right click, object properties. And here on select cast shadow and receive shadow. When you do that, uh, any shadows, it won't be received and any shadows won't be in your interior and the lighting coming through uh, this curtain like it not exist. Okay. Ah, finally, we got something good. Now I can, can increase the size of the render, uh, tone mapping, increase some exposure. And we finally get something, get something, get something. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely want to rotate the uh, map because I don't need that um, intensive sunlight. Well, it's not super intensive, but in on the wall and I want uh, not um, super visible light on the wall. But first, I want to add some material for the curtain so it will be more transparent. So I'm going to um, uh, create a copy of the base material, apply to the curtain. And also, since it's selected or you need to select it, you need to add to exclude. Otherwise, if you will uh, do any changes in material, it won't be applied to your curtains. And I'll increase just a bit of translucency. Well, maybe not even that much. And also I'll change the color. So it will be lighter. Okay, good. And now we can rotate our HDR map. So let's start it. So 20. Even this one is more ambient and more like I wanted. But I'll rotate it even more. Okay, now you can see that light um, focused more on this area. We got more light there. And rotate it till you finally get exactly what you want. So I'll change it little by little. And I think now we got a little more, <laughs> too, more um, uh, too much of the yellow and green color. Probably that's already not what we wanted because the color are also important from HDR map. Okay, I'll rotate a little more. Maybe 
No, again, uh, too much light here. And also we got uh, some bluish line there, which is weird. Uh, yeah, so somewhere before 100. 80, 90. Oh, yeah, actually 80, I think the looks the most. Not too much li uh, light in this area. A little ambient here. And some light here. Okay, I think it's good. Uh, okay, let me try 60. No. 70, 80, 90. 90 also quite nice, but maybe, maybe. Okay, let's back to 80. Um, and I straight away can make the uh, walls and ceiling uh, white because they will be white. Why should I uh, do it straight away? Because um, now the, the room will be in general way more lighter when I will apply it. So I need to select it, uh, wall, ceiling, apply new material. And don't forget that you need to, all the time when you apply new material or you want to see the material from the existing model, you need to um, press plus uh, to exclude them. Now we can make it lighter. And remember, the most white color that you can apply in your 3ds Max is 180, not more otherwise it will be like light material not just the normal um white material and even though you can see that i applied 160 and it's already like too white maybe even less something like that should be uh nice ah uh, yeah i was thinking why Everything like super contrasted because I have acid odd here. Mm -hmm. Now I turn it off and the picture way more lighter now. Okay, but now we need to get rid of the highlights. So I'm going to add here a filmic mapping and I'll increase highlight compress, but not too much. Um, I can add some rich shadow, I like them. Uh, it adds some nice contrast. Um, also, I can add the main contrast, for example. So two. In some cases, you can also work with ace at all. So, for example, you can lower this amount, and it won't be like in front for hundred percent. It will be lower. But I do like mm, do it manually. Sometimes I edit like in very very, very small amount. But usually I just use filming. Uh, for highlight compress, I also do like advanced filming. It's um, appear I think in Corona Nine or Corona Eight. I don't remember exactly when. Uh, but here you can find uh, shoulder strength. It also decreases the highlight compression. You can see in this area it's way more um, accurate work and not like highlight compress. C highlight compress is compressing the whole um, exposure of the old picture and the shoulder is more accurately algorithm to more work with compress. So usually I increase a little bit and lower highlight compress here to get exactly what I want. Something like that should be nice. Good, good. Okay, uh, for now we can add some light, LED light on the uh, ceiling. Also, we have some light uh, on the top of the panels. Well, not on the top, but we will add on the top. Um, I can turn off um, render for now and I'll just create lighting for interior. So, I need Corona lighting. Uh, Corona light, uh, the shape uh, rectangle. Mm. We have selected our uh, ceiling and walls, and I believe uh, we can just isolate them. Um, so anything will distract us and just create. Um, no, snap, we don't need. We just need some rectangle here and lift it up. In the niche, um, well, the height maybe not that much, something like that should be nice. Um, mm -hmm. And I'll make a copy, or maybe not. Let's uh, customize one by one and then we'll do copy. Okay, start render again. Wait. Okay, definitely it was a good idea to customize one by one. I don't want that much color. I don't need that much intensity. I need intense, like super, super small, almost not visible. Uh, the color even less. Mm, 
maybe just a bit maybe a little more yellow okay good uh intensity well it can be slightly less so um 0 0.8 okay good and now we can uh copy it to the planks okay um instance uh no actually not instance um because probably we will change some amounts and we need to set it above the panels here is our panels you can isolate it if you're not sure um these lines of the light should uh, look in direction where you need the light so if you will set like this the lighting going uh, on the panels but not um, on the wall so we need to mirror it or you can rotate it it doesn't really matter so you can uh, press on the mirror select the coordinate y uh, if you're on the left uh, view if in the other view then it can be z okay um, no clone just i uh, mirror it okay uh, the size we will change we don't need that much i'll place it somewhere above maybe even smaller okay <coughs> <coughs> and the uh, weight also not that huge so it should be the same as panels mm, more or less <coughs> Mm -hmm. okay good now we can see on the render and probably intensity even smaller so 0 0.3 let me create some region i think mm, too much of exposure in general so we can lower it just a bit because like too much we don't need super light we need some shadows here um well, maybe a little more or maybe something like that good mm -hmm. and you can see little by little we come into our goal um also you can see that we have two base colors here so white color and the color of the wood so we can set it on the just a color to see which exactly color will uh, pass to us so we can set uh, the color for uh, all wood parts i'm going to create a copy of the base material i need to select all the wooden parts so the panels well the back part of the panels as well the floor the uh one uh side table another one and also this back part of the uh, panels if you're not sure what exactly you select you always can isolate it and see on perspective for example if you select everything that you needed or not so we have five objects here uh, don't forget to add to exclude otherwise you won't see anything okay now we can add some color so i'll increase just oh yeah uh we need to assign it of course <laughs> otherwise we won't see anything um okay let me increase oh saturation let me make more yellow color okay maybe even more oh something like that should be nice maybe even more saturation maybe a bit darker maybe that's too much Okay, let me create region somewhere here so it will render faster actually it's good actually it's very very good okay and for now from this point we can start our materials but probably i would add also color for the carpet as well since we don't have ready-made material for it so it won't be just gray when we will add any other materials okay so one more copy i'll just copy the our wood material the tone of our base uh wood material and select carpet assign material and you can see if you want to add your object to exclude the materials won't appear even if uh, you can see it in the viewport so that's very important thing so you need to click here and it appear okay i need to make it lighter 
a less color, maybe a bit darker, and more yellow, I think. Because when you change the saturation and the value, um, sometimes you need to customize the hue as well, so it will be on the same tone as you want it, because uh, if I won't do it, it will be more red than yellow, and it won't fit my floor. So it's important to catch this little small um, amount of the tone, so everything will uh, pass by colors. I think it's fine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, good. So... What we will start with, um, with the huge parts, so definitely it will be our bed. Okay, and let's see what the ready-made material will said. Um, I'll select this part, uh, this part. Well, I'm. I don't want to add to exclude all the bed. I think maybe I will open the group and add just some parts. Because otherwise there will be a lot of colors. Maybe it will be um, very distracted. So let's see. I suck just those parts. Uh, let add it to exclude. Um, also sometimes some of the maps won't be visible. In this case you will need to set the uh, pass for this model. So you need to customize, configure project pass, external files. Usually I'm suck the bottom at uh, the top one so the path will appear on the top. Add and you need to select the folder with the texture for the um, path for example. So you search the folder. Um, I think it was this one. Yeah maps and use path and it will grab all these maps and they will appear in your 3ds max um the other thing uh when the material of your um model is uh using corona bitmap in this case you uh, not only pass is needed uh, but i hope we won't have it uh, in this case you need to reload every single map which is not cool at all so i'll select this pipette tool the material that we have on the back oh and we have bitmap here but somehow it loaded probably because i used it before Ah, uh, yeah, because the uh, path is, was uh, in my 3 ds Max before, that's why it grabbed it immediately, like before I even opened the 3 ds Max. Uh, but uh, if you will use this model, for example, and the Corona bitmap here, you won't see like loaded magnum, loaded uh, texture. In this case, you will need to press reload. Um, after you set the path and then the map is appear so you will um, double click on double click on the map and it will reload it or you can um, right click update preview and preview will be changed to the normal map and also uh, some words appear here and that's how you will find out that the map is loaded if you want to do that um, your material will be just black and you will need to do that for every single corona bitmap so bitmap, the normal one, no need to reload every single map, but corona bitmap is needed sometimes. Okay, so here will be only two maps, as you can see. Uh, and that's why I don't like the uh, ready-made uh, material, because here a lot of everything, and I'm not even sure that we need every... Um, everything here so let me see how it looks like i'm not even sure what kind of material is that i'm using uh 2d pan zoom you can find it here by pressing plus i have it on my short cards mm, it's kind of something fabric For me, it looks like more like leather, but not super. Well, in general, we can keep it like that if you want to. Even the color. Well, the color probably would make a uh, lighter. Uh. <laughs> okay, I said that we won't customize the material from the very beginning. Okay, let me see what the map is here. 
eye. And that's why I don't like the Corona bitmap because uh, in the... Oh, no, I can see, I can see view image. Uh, and here is like almost empty, like nothing here. No, that's not interesting. Okay, let's create something more nicer, okay? Um, <laughs> I don't need that much of the maps and anything. Uh, I'll just select the main material. Yeah. Uh, the main, main, main kernel layer and deal, change material map type. So I a little lied to you. Uh, we're going to customize it from the beginning. Uh, Corona Legacy MTL. E yes. Because it's not interesting, right? We need some nice material. I thought it would be uh, nicer, but it's not. And I need some texture for the leather. So, well, maybe in some other uh, object we will use more of the ready-made, but this case I'll definitely don't like. Um... Airway. Uh, Airway has a nice um, set of the leather texture. I don't have like hole here because I usually don't use all of them. So I just don't like the one that I need because I have everything on the other place. Um, but we can use something from this one. Well, since we have something best, so I don't have much best maps here. We can use this one. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let me drag it here. Oh, it's huge. It's 800. That's why it opened that long into diffuse color. Um, since it's uh, leather, I can add some reflection here. Um, but Glosson is definitely not that strong. It can be um, 06, 0, 07 maybe. Okay. So let's focus on this uh, place. And also I need to see how it... Ooh. Uh, it's definitely too small, so we need to make it uh, bigger. Uh, in this case, I can change the tiling. Probably this bed has some unwrap, so I can change uh, the scale on unwrap editor, but it will be faster just use tiling. So, for example, 0 0.5. Yeah, it's bigger. It can be maybe even more bigger, but I think this can work. Okay. Uh, let's customize the color first. Oh, color correction. Um, I don't need that much color. I'll actually, I need some more yellow color here. Maybe not that much. And definitely lighter. Okay, let me see from this side. Oh. It's super glossy, but we will work more with reflection. Don't worry about that. Uh, for now, I'm just look at the color. Um, yeah, probably more yellow and probably more lighter. Yeah, this one is good. Um, okay, reflection. For reflection, it has some maps as well. Also from this um, set. Only the thing that we need to select something. Well, this is leather, leather. Um, I need something more interesting, not just these bumps. Oh, yeah, this one probably look good. Um, because the white part will be more reflective, the dark part will be less reflective, and we get this nice difference in reflection. So let's try this one. And I can connect into reflection uh, color first. If you're not sure how the reflection works, you always can go to um, main material and set level zero, for example. So it will be fully black or you can change the color to the black. It doesn't really matter. And now you can customize the reflection how you would uh, like it. And you can see how this map work. Uh, the size, I think, also too small, right? Yeah, we can make it smaller as well. Uh, for why not? Can be. Why not? Good. Think so. 
Uh, but I want to make it lighter uh, to get some more reflective parts um, so I can change the curves of this map so output enable color map um, I'll add some point I don't need to add extra um, output that I usually add for color correction but because bitmap has its own right click busier smooth uh, move tool and I can make it a lighter okay now we can see some difference here all we need is um, how strong it should be also I can uh, look at this part or maybe I uh, will make it more contrasted maybe not that light actually maybe not that reflective no this one is nice oh yeah I do like how it looks on this side like super super nice okay um hmm, should i add some map on the glossiness as well well we can try um i'll probably make a copy because usually you need some different uh, curves and something on those if not then we'll yeah definitely we need so okay let me make it uh more lighter as well so this glossiness parameter we connect this map into instead of this amount that we said like 0 0.7 in st instead of this 0 0.7 we use the map now um but we can make it first lighter and then if it's too much we always can lower intensity of this uh, map by mixing with the main amount okay output oh okay um Sometimes it happens when you copy the map. I'm not so sure what kind of curve there. So I'll delete this map and copy it one more time and connect it one more time to the glossiness. Oh, uh, the picture is the same, but the curves is improved. Now we can uh, customize it like we want to. Uh, yeah, definitely I don't need that mm, strong mm, difference between the reflection and glossiness. So yeah I made it a little more glossy now I'm going to material and I'll reduce glossiness um, in, in, in influence of this map on the glossiness and now it mix it with those, uh, those uh, 0 0.7 it can be even smaller I think just a little bit Um, maybe still too much uh, of reflection but uh, first we will see how it works with the color and then uh, we can reduce it if it will be too much because on the black color you can see like super strong difference but in the light material in the light color it won't be uh, the same I made it um, probably a bit too much but we'll see I'll select material and return level one and yeah for now you can see like it almost not visible but at least the color is more nice and interesting like it was in the original material but as i say you can keep the original as well yeah probably a bit too much of reflection but i can just lower this glossiness if you don't want that strong you can lower it even more because we have um 80% of this amount so if you decrease it it will definitely won't be that shiny so you can make it even smaller if you want to but actually 65 was not too bad maybe 64 <laughs> just a little lower and would be nice okay let me have a look from the camera uh, I want to get rid more of the color so I'll select color correction and even lower saturation okay maybe not that much mm -hmm. good okay and let's go to the next material well you can make it more complex you can add some fall off here uh, on the div on diffuse on reflection on everything but as i said we won't focus on materials much today so we made it as easy as as possible okay i'll select the next part um i think those ones should be 
also this one probably it's the same as the back one let me see or oh, maybe not yeah it's something else but we can make the same as the back one right so i'll delete this one as less material we have as better so select um our material assign and don't forget to exclude it and let's go to the fabric so white parts it's supposed to be a probably one material yeah i think so um i'll select it okay this one is not too complicated so probably we will keep it let me see how it looks on the render okay yeah um in general it looks nice um uh, the one thing that i want to change the um color because it's too dark too gray we need more whitish uh, so all i will do is add color correction uh, in the very end so i don't need to change anything here and just change the gamma of it so color correction uh, advanced um, let me make it lighter is it too much no i think so i think is enough maybe 1.5 a little lighter okay i think is good if so you always can make it um even more lighter uh definitely i want the material of the uh, legs because i thought i won't see it but i do see it okay let me select it okay amazing not complicated material um add to exclude and we'll see what we have here so it's some metal material i'm really happy with it i don't want to change it uh maybe in some cases i would make a little less of um glossiness or reflection uh color but for now i believe it's good and the last part is the uh blanket so let's select from it okay blanket let me add to exclude mm, it's super dark it's super 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 duper dark but actually we start with the ready-made material because our okay never mind so blanket super dark uh the gray color we need some um more colored texture here because of the gray color we can't customize the situation um so we need to change the main texture mm, or don't use it at all um but yeah i think the texture won't be complicated to customize so where is my model mm, but uh this one maps um this one or this one let me see z one two this one okay so let me drag it to photoshop and let's add some color we can grab the color from the picture or you can do it by your eyes it's up to you um so i'll just add some solid color i need something something like that probably maybe not that much color but uh from this color it will be easier to customize in uh 3ds max so even like that would be nice so okay next one i need some uh yeah soft light is fine i can call maybe not soft light maybe well multiply is too dark oh okay overlay is better i do like more um now i can copy background set on the top and also change to soft light to uh get more visible texture that we had before because the color was um like mm, feel it uh but when you set this gray map on the top soft light and it will be more visible now we can select uh save it i can save it here uh, it's create me a new name as copy save uh the quality the most as possible and now i can select this uh texture from the folder so load map 
it will um, set me the same folder, select a new map, open. <laughs> and now we need to change color correction here because the gamma definitely uh, we don't need that uh, dark uh, saturation to zero. Okay, finally we got some color, but now we need to um, make it um, more complex with our main color of the floor and everything. Okay. So, okay, let me make it even more lighter, uh, maybe more yellow, three, um, maybe less saturation, and yeah, even more hue, so more yellow color here, then, mm, yeah, I think this one looks uh, great, and actually I don't want to change anything else. So I believe is good. Good. Um, next one. So we finished with the bed. It was super easy, as you can see. Uh, well, maybe uh, leather material not so, but I believe it wasn't complicated. And let's move on. Let me have a look from the whole camera. Mm -hmm. And let's create... Uh, uh, I'll definitely want to create the um, floor and wood material because not just color, but wood, wood nicer to see, not just color. So let's do it like super fast. I'll select the material. I'll make a copy because the um, uh, wood material and the floor material will be different. But well, at least we customize the uh, floor material, I believe, for the planks and for the uh, shelves, uh, I mean, for the tables, you will customize uh, material based on floor, but with uh, another uh, map of the wood, because for the floor, we're going to use um, planks, a lot of planks uh, with help of um, multi-texture, which work with floor generator. So texture, uh, multi-texture, um, no, it's too bumpy. Yeah, this one should uh, like super soft and nice. Uh, this one I combined um, in Photoshop in one nice texture, so I can use it for uh, the planks and uh, table. And this one is for the floor, but not necessary. You can use another one, uh, which will be um, works fine here. Okay, multi texture in general. I need to select all these planks from the folder only the color one not the normal because we're going to uh, plug in into diffuse color so diffuse and let's customize color first uh, but remember i said that um, the size of the planks should be the same as the texture so we can um, drag this texture to the photoshop for example uh, the size is huge of these textures, image size. Uh, we can set height uh, uh, 220 as we have on the our flow generator weight, weight and find out the size of the length of the floor. So uh, 100, uh, 1700. I can copy it and now I can change the size of the floor generator. So here I set this amount and it will be perfect uh, size the textures okay uh, color correction mm, and let's customize it so more yellow for sure good uh, lighting probably yeah just a bit maybe not that much mm, maybe a little more color will return okay problem lighter lighter but more color yeah maybe slightly more good and my favorite part is working with reflection so i'll connect um i'll add 
color correction output because I usually work with curves so I'll do it straight away uh, connect this output to reflection color you can see the reflection is disappeared because it's just black and I need to connect this multi texture into color correction but the most important thing that in color correction you need to fully desaturate it otherwise you will get a super colored reflection which we don't need <coughs> I won't do it now, uh, but if you want to see more accurate reflection work, you always can uh, level uh, diffuse to uh, zero uh, and customize it on black material. But for now, I'll just do it in the fast way to get some nicer floor, not just color. Okay, let me zoom in with too deep on zoom. Yeah, probably more contrast maybe not that light to see some wooden lines maybe even more mm -hmm. yeah this one looks good um, I can copy this output uh, again so delete copy one more time if you see that cur curves doesn't work good and um, connect into reflection glossiness yeah it's fully like super made uh, we definitely need to customize the curve and make it more lighter oh that's probably too much don't need that much Okay, probably I'll just uh, decrease influence of this map. Um, will be just a little of the map, but then the main will be just uh, the glossiness amount. So let me reduce it. Yeah, but in general it looks good. You can see that it's not glossy, uh, it's a little bit reflective. Some lines of the wood are visible. Um, pretty cool and nice. Um, floor we got in the same uh, way you can customize the material for the side table and for the planks it can be the same uh, but for those you will need to add some uh, UVs probably so the texture will looks nice so keep it in mind but I think uh, the floor is um, yeah it's great I do like it maybe slightly less saturation I would make just a bit Mm-hmm. Good. And let's move on. So definitely I want to make a chair and uh, a carpet. So I'll start with the chair because it's on the front. So I want to make it super fast. Uh, let's select material from the chair. Uh, it's probably all separated parts. Uh, okay, that's fine. Um, but I can edit um, all the chair to exclude. And we'll see what we have. Well, actually, it's not. It's almost what we need. Uh, maybe I would make the legs a little lighter. Um, and the back lighter. I think it's too dark. So I think I select exactly the back uh, material. Oh, and it will be super easy to make it uh, lighter. And it's kind of a uh, leather material, as I can see. So I'll zoom closer to make it lighter and in the mix I'll just change the colors so I can make this one uh, lighter, even more lighter. Mm -hmm. um, maybe more yellow. So um, 18. Yeah, I know that too many uh, like dirtiness on them because the black color on the top and we will change it as well. So I can copy this one, paste here and add a little of the difference. Well, maybe I shouldn't do that light. Yeah, I can make this one also a little darker. Mm-hmm, good. Um, next one is uh, legs. Do we need to change it? 
Um, maybe. Let me see what the material we have there. Okay, I select with pipette tool the material of the legs. In black. Well, I can make it uh, lighter. Don't see the difference. <laughs> okay, 40. Huh. Okay, now I can see. Uh, so 50. I don't want like straight away dark, like black, black, black. I think 50 is good. Okay. Um, and the last one is for the seats. I definitely need to make it more yellow. Because it's too, too pinky. And here we go, the complicated materials. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So we have here layered MTL. Okay, okay, okay. I want to... Okay, some dirtiness. Okay. Let's add some color correction here. We just work with the color a little bit. Um, so I'll make it lighter. Let me turn off the second one. So I will see just the one how it works. And then I'll turn it on again. When I'll finish to customize it. I need to make it uh, lighter. In color correction. So gamma is 0 0.5. Okay. Maybe a little more. Uh, good, actually, I can even keep like that, but yeah, since we have second one uh, with the dirtiness, I want to use it. I can change the color of the second one as well, but I believe can be even like that without any changes. It's only 50%, uh, but the first one, the one that we uh, customized, it, I'll make even more lighter, I think. Maybe even more. Yeah, I think so. Is it should be nice. Um, maybe even lighter. Okay, let me have a look at the dirtiness so it won't be like super huge difference. <laughs> I'm trying to to deep on zoom with uh, shortcuts. But I made something else and it become darker. Why? Uh huh. Because I changed the gamma. Somehow it was three, I think. Mm hmm. Yeah, the dirt is not super visible. It's like slightly. Looks nice. Okay. We can keep it. Good. Let's move on to the next one. And guys, how are you doing? Uh, so far, so good, uh, boring, interesting, exciting, um, and so and so. You can write in the comments, I will uh, see. And let's go to the carpet. Um, for the carpet. For the carpet, uh, we can use um, Corona Library, why not? I saw some carpets there. Mm, okay, Corona Material Library. Yeah, exactly. I saw some carpets here. Oh, but... Hey, how can I see the preview? No, this one is not interesting. Bath rug. I'm sure that I'm in the carpets. Yeah, I am. Well, I need something beige. And this one is not too interesting. This one is weird. I need just uh, the plain color, and that's probably all. Well, this one can be... Mm, nope. This one... Maybe... Okay, let's try this one, I think, is... The most interesting, because it's like, this one is like super plain. Mm, not fun to play. This one with the texture. Okay, let's try this one. Um, probably we can just drag it. Yeah. Okay, so it's Corona Physical. 
MTL also people ask why I'm not using Corona physical um, but now we have to so I apply this material don't forget to add it into exclude and it's super black okay I don't see the texture in my viewport um, okay probably I need to add some UV so on UV uh, you can find in modify list uh, box and still I don't see it I can see that something in there but ah okay um, so the corona library using the real world textures uh, which is like in real world they're trying to apply the same size um, but I'm not using the real world in uh, my scenes uh, I'm turn it off but well in the latest version of 3dx max is turn it off by default uh, you can find it in customize preferences um, here I use real world textures coordinate then it will fit probably but it turn it off but that's fine I can turn it off here um, and set tiling like in the regular textures so tiling uh, one Oi, sorry one one and yeah now we can see it but we need to do it in every single texture thanks god that's not too many of them here so turning one one noise uh, uh probably can be it not using the same and here telling one one okay okay let me have a look for the render okay maybe um, the color is definitely we need to change it's super super dark uh, and probably the rotation as well so it will go like the floor so here I can set the rotation for um, 90 uh, but I need to do it for a normal map as well and for this map on displacement too so all the textures will be with the same direction the size the size can be mm, if you want to make it smaller you can um, change uv or you can change the tiling but i think it's fine so let's start uh, working with um, uh, color People, are you alive? Because I can see only one comment and two pluses. Uh, I hope you're doing well and you just focus it on the workshop. So advanced uh, 1.5, 2, 3. We need to make it super light. Actually, we need some color there. Mm. Not just gray. 4. Four is too much, so three. Mm. Okay, so I definitely want to add some dirtiness first, and uh, second one I need to add some color. Uh, so I can do. Well, for, for now I can add some mix amount for example I hope I will be able to add some color so mm, where was the color of our carpet I just want to use it so here was our carpet I'll just copy this color focus it okay good if you focus it then you are fine <laughs> Um, and I want to add it to mix instead of white color so oh okay uh, it's a bit too dark instead of black as well okay uh, so the first one I'll make a little darker and the second one I'll make a lighter mm, but uh, less contrast I think but I need some bumps so probably I'll connect this map into uh, color one otherwise my texture is disappear fully so instead of black color I have this map and I think with it is better 
Ja, okay. And I want to make displacement probably stronger. Yeah, it doesn't look too strong for me. Okay, I'll suck the material. Um, yeah, I can find displacement here. Okay, let me set five. Yeah, that's a bit better. Uh, can we add some minus here, the same amount? Oh yeah, even like that, it's way more interesting. Oh, I'm kind of happy, I don't want to change the amount. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Um, okay, let's work with um, George in this then. So I'll add here a composite map um, into layer one. I need one more layer for my dirtiness. So composite, add one more layer here. And I need to select some maps. I have the whole folder of the dirty maps. So I can select anything. No, not in array, but in dirt. Uh, what we can use. Something. Mm. I think this one should be good. Let me have a look. Load it, load it, load it. Okay, into layer two mask. Now I need to see how it look in the viewport. Mm, yeah, can be, we'll see. Um, and I'm thinking maybe the carpet make make a little darker first. So let me make it here. Mm -hmm. um, now we can add some light parts of dirtiness, I think, like some work, someone work there too much. Um, I can add some color correction, connect mix map um, to layer two and make it lighter. Well, we can make it like super light so you will see where it will be located. Well, actually even super light is quite interesting, but probably a bit too much. Um, yeah, let me make it less. Actually, it's good. Um, we can make it even more complicated and add, for example, one more map for um, dark parts. I think would be nice. So composite, uh, one more layer, um, another map, not the same. Um, so we can select, for example, yeah, probably for the carpets I use those one the most. Maybe it's too contrast, but well, let's try, we'll see. Um, layer 3 mask, um, nope, I need composite and one more color correction, but this time we'll add more dark, but first I want to see this map. So on the white parts will be our color, so here will be more dark, here, 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 here. If you want to change size, you always can change the size in the map. So layer three. And yeah, now we can see lighter parts, but we need darker. Color correction, make it darker as original. So 0 0.8. I think the white uh, now is a bit too much. But in general, in some... Well, actually, I do like. Uh, maybe slightly lighter. Well, you can change the color of color correction or you can lower the opacity in composite map. Doesn't really matter. So you can go to composite. Uh, the light color was on the layer 2. So you can make it like opacity 80, 90 till you will like the result. So maybe 85 something. Mm -hmm. um, and in general, the whole carpet I would probably make 
a lighter so not change the hole in the mix color i can just connect color correction here and make it lighter in general so for example 1.2 Mm-hmm. Good. I believe is good. Maybe maybe slightly darker. So 1.1, just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So in general, only the core left, so we can like super fast um add into exclude and we'll see. Um so like final steps. Um, let's select the uh, plant first, I think. Oh, I wanted to open render setup, <laughs> not the material editor. So add to exclude. Uh, the vase is fine. Uh, the flowers, I think, is a bit too light. Let me make it a bit darker. So I'll select material. Oh, when the flower, where is the flowers? Petal, yeah, this one, okay. Only one material, so it will be fast. Color correction into diffuse. Uh-oh, mm, that's not what I wanted. Uh, let me zoom in. Mm -hmm. uh, I think translucency is too much here, so... base options oh yeah 0 0.3 maybe even smaller we don't need that much translucency on the flowers mm, and let's change the color uh, the diffuse color advanced uh, gamma Okay, uh, probably we need to change the color of translucency as well. Yeah. Okay. More calm it down. Um, mm -hmm. The leaves is... Uh, I would change a little the color and maybe I would make them darker. So, where is the leaves? Here. So, color correction into diffuse. Uh, let me have a look at the translucency basic option. Also, 0 0.6. I can make it smaller. Mm -hmm. uh, color slightly to yellow, so it will fit to our uh, wood color. Um, and maybe darker. So, advanced uh, gamma 0 0.7. Maybe it's a bit too much. Also, I can, after that, even more yellow color add. Mm, 10 is a lot. But add is nice. 8, 7. And gamma even lower. Okay, now I can set 8 or 9. Mm-hmm. Yeah, way more nicer. Good, flower is done. Uh, lamp. So, select lamp, close the group, add into exclude. Where is my exclude? Here is it. Um, turn off regions. Okay, almost perfect, but we need some light there for sure, <laughs> so it will give us nicer result, but maybe I will change a little of the top material, I'm not so sure, but maybe. Uh, let's add some light inside and we'll see, maybe uh, we will customize this material. Also, the gold I think is too shiny, I would uh, decrease glossiness for it, uh, but for now it's lighting and then... Um, metal material so sphere in the light i'll set it inside like we had at the very beginning when we just add the slam but we will do it in our way we could customize the existing lighting of course and just turn off uh, the one that we had before but well since we delete it we always can edit okay um i'll go to modify tab for now material even looks fine uh, I will increase intensity 
since we have some um, and probably I'll change the color to more warm so more saturation more color I want to get probably even 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 oh yeah that's too much three maybe two was fine right um probably I'll put it maybe a little lower I want to get more translucent part here mm, not helping much ah okay um we need oh okay so in the light we need to turn off visible yeah directly but i'll turn on reflection we probably don't need and refraction as well otherwise we will see it here and we don't need so three um boxes are antique okay Yeah, I think it's good. Uh, okay, let me have a look at the material. Can I customize it more clearly or not? Okay, we have some gradient. Fall off. Oh, now it's clear. I thought it wasn't clear. I wanted this line and that's exactly what I have so probably from the um, photo is not that visible but when you come closer and probably on the final render we will see it so I don't need to customize it yeah it looks nice okay um, metal material then I don't need that much reflection so glossing is lower um, yeah oh 20 Two Fresnel, why? I can set sec six, but we will need to change the color then. Okay. Um, boom, 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 boom. Uh, gloss in the zero point six. Um, the color of reflection lighter and less colored. Maybe a bit more saturation, and probably lighter. Well, you can customize the color, you can keep the uh, 22 or if you want to. When you increase the or the um, lightness of the metal will change as well. And this button, I don't want this different material. Well, okay, let's finish this one and then uh, the button. So I want to add more yellow color because it's a little pinky and slightly more saturation. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, they have um, anisotropy, that's why we have those strong a uh, line of reflection i can change it to 0 0.1 and it won't be that strong yeah you can see it's more bluey but maybe a little more so 0 0.2 mm -hmm. perfect and for the button um i think they uh, did um different material because some um other map yeah on the reflection glossiness but for now, uh, for us, it's just the copy, the reflection uh, color and set it here. So it will be the same. So paste and also uh, we set six in. Yeah, so we can set six here as well. So six, uh, anisotropy one. I'm not so sure about it. Let me set zero. Yeah, zero looks way more nicer. Or you can set the same material, but you won't uh, get those lines. So I think we can keep like that. And the wire. I don't want to have it with a white color. Let me soak this material of the wire. Uh, white, 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 white. Okay, I'll delete all of this and I'll just set the color. Um, 
Okay, so let me select something from here. It will be more colored. Hey, I said from here. Okay, uh, less saturation, lighter. So it won't be white, it will be slightly colored. Maybe even less and a bit more yellow. So it will fit to everything. Yeah. This one I do like way more. Okay, the last one is the books. And I hope you will try to customize your own uh, wooden material. Don't forget that you need to apply the UV here uh, to customize the texture for the uh, planks and for the table as well. And I hope the books is just... Okay, I would change a little bit of colors. And that's all. So I'll select the pages first material. Um, I want to make it more yellow. So for here, um, seven, uh, less saturation. Okay, maybe a bit more. This is for the bottom one. Uh, the top one is not selected yet. Now we can select the top one as well. Actually, we can uh, connect this map to the second material. So no need to customize it twice. Mm -hmm. And the color. Uh, the color, color. Okay, let me have a look from the camera. Maybe we don't need to change it. Maybe a little bit. Yeah, actually, it's fine. Uh, I think we can keep it. So, in general, um, our interior is ready. Mm. Not only the wood material we have made, but you can see that we use a lot of ready-made material. We change a little bit. We fully change the um, main color of the bed here, but for the fabrics we keep and change the uh, slightly of the gamma of uh, this material. And for the blanket we uh, customize the texture, apply it, uh, customize the color and uh, its gamma. Um, use the uh, carpet material from Corona material library. So now you can uh, use it as well. And you will see that uh, probably in every single material library material, they have real world texture. So you will need to customize it and pay attention. To it. Uh, but in general, um, our interior is ready. Uh, we can set our final render to see the final result. I hope you enjoy it and um, like the whole process. Uh, the next week will be next episode, next room. Uh, so we'll also uh, generate it in AI, also uh, create the mood board. So you will see how the whole pictures are um, uh, combined with each other and um, create some next room. So I'm going to set final vendor. Um, you can ask the questions now. I will answer them. Uh, so probably I said 3000. I need some denoiser here. Corona highlight, uh, height compress, uh, high quality. And yeah. So start render. Um, get ready to ask me a questions. And for now, if you don't know, um, we're not doing only the workshop. We also have a huge course for beginners who want to learn 3ds max who don't know anything about 3ds max or who know just a little bit and want to improve his skills or uh, find out more about 3ds max uh, more how to model more how to customize the lighting uh, more how to set up all the beautiful and cool and unique and interesting material for any cases so for that one we have course for beginners. So we're starting from the very, very, very easy steps, like with viewport and everything. Then we slowly go into uh, modeling, um, explaining every single part, it's not like in workshop. Um, I'll explain all the things that I'm doing, why I'm doing, uh, why you should do it, why you should not do that, how to uh, fix some stuff when you will see them in your work and your project. So I'll explain all the single detail of everything uh, on 
all stages on the modeling, on the um, lighting in materials. So yeah, it won't be like that fast, like on workshop, because on workshop, we're trying to customize everything in very short time. In the course, we, of course, have a longer lessons we have more lessons uh, for specific topics and um, you will find out a lot of interesting um, stuff and of course you will find how find out our step-by-step -step system so you can implement it to your project and do the same to get a nice result to your project so a little practice and you will be able to create a, your own super nice and cool project so this course is for as i said for very beginner who never opened 3ds max this course is also for people who open 3ds max try something and close it because he not able to figure out how to work with it and also this course is for people um, who already worked in 3ds max not too confident and not so sure in a lot of stuff so it also will be useful for you because um, i will clarify a lot of um, topics a lot of um, tools a lot of settings so you won't be scared like oh what did i do why i customized it how can i change it how can i um uh, change this zero how can I customize that setting and you will be more confident to work with the uh, uh, tools and not that scared that you press something wrong and you have no clue how to figure out. Um, so we're going to create this interior in, um, in the course that we will uh, be in the May. So very, very soon we'll start a um, beginner's course. We'll customize this beautiful interior. We'll build a lot of stuff here. So we'll definitely build the whole room we'll customize some furniture uh, we customize the camera we'll set up the lighting here materials every single one as i said usually we customize the material from the very beginning uh, for beginners course we always customize every single material from the very beginning so none of the ready-made materials so you will see how everything parameters every uh, single node is working what should you mix it to get such a result and get the final final image uh, which you will be happy with so also we will work with the composition so you will be able to customize your own camera to find a nice shot for this interior and uh, create a more shots for this um, project um, this is me, this is Dania, our <laughs> creator of Render Camp and our team. Uh, we have a great team because um, we have extremely cool support on the beginners course, not only beginners in all our course, we have extremely uh, good support because um, 3ds Max is complicated. Um, Yes, you, of course, you're trying to uh, find out the way by yourself, how to fix this or what you need to do uh, to get rid of something. But sometimes, uh, especially at the very beginning, when you're not so sure what you pressed and you get something and you have no clue how to figure out our support will help you immediately because we have a Discord chat um, here like we have for all our courses uh, there will be channels for every single question so if you have questions for the homework or uh, you will ask in the homework if you have questions uh, let me show you in the 14 so we have homework so you can answer ask here everything if you have some technical issues you can ask in technical issues if you have some off topics question you can ask here um, if you're not sure what exactly of PC configuration we also can help you and of course the huge block of the information when you just join the chat you can read it all so you will know uh, how to upload your homework how when the classes will be how to enter and everything 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 so a lot of stuff there and the cool stuff that we answer usually in one two minutes in every single question if <laughs> it's it will be like bunch of the questions uh, don't worry you will get your answer like almost straight away we're trying to answer uh, 
uh, in the morning, in the evening, sometimes in in the night if we were not sleeping. Usually that happened, but uh, we have we all living in different uh, parts of the world. So uh, for us, it can be evening. For someone, it can be uh, early morning. So we trying to uh, do our best. So our system by system, we will customize everything. So all modeling, all the lighting, all tone colors, all the materials. Uh, homework check. So yeah, um, we have 16 leave uh, webinars. So there will be 16 lessons. Uh, the course will be four weeks, 16 classes. Um, but beside that, I do homework check. So homework check, I will do every single day during the big day. So from Monday till Friday, I will do video comments where I'll, I'll let me show you what you will have on the site. You will have your course, uh, you have your own cabinet where you can upload your homework and here album of work. So I'll open the album of work. I'll open your work. I'll look at your result and tell you like you should change the color here. You need to um, a little bit uh, uh, work with your model and everything and everything. So I'll do comments for every single part of your project. And you can see the whole stage of the previous course. So it was started from the very beginning. It was do we will do some modeling, the walls and everything. The next one still modeling some vases. Um, try to little um, uh, gather together scene, more modeling, still modeling. Yeah, finally, uh, the lighting, there was a camera stage when we customize the camera, then the lighting, it's not the perfect one, but um, we all learning. So it's fine to be not perfect. It's fine to do errors. It's all good because you are learning that's how you find out what is wrong what is correct and finally you slowly go into the results so we went to the colors and slowly to materials on the stage i comment everything and slowly till the final results some of the camera the people customize I show only one student, but a lot of them uh, did more. Some of them did more of the model and some of them did less of the model. Usually I have like in the modeling stage, some bonuses um, uh, modeling. So I can say like, we will do this modeling, but for you, if you not confident, if it's too complicated, because modeling is complicated, especially if you model some furniture is really can be complicated. It's really confusing of all these vertices, of all these edges, of all these polygons. So it's fine if uh, you want to skip some model. So I will say like this one, you can skip, you can uh, finish the course. And after that, you can try it one more time uh, to um, uh, make uh, better your skills so always better not just like okay i won't do it and i won't never do it it's fine to do it later so uh, everyone doing in its own pace and it's totally fine someone learning faster someone learning faster uh, slower it's also fine everyone is learning and everyone is doing in 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 its own speed oh Okay, I'm talking a lot today, probably. And here you can find the um, reviews from our student who finished um, the previous uh, courses, beginners, and you can read it. You can see the result that they got um, of all the courses that we had before. So guys, um, if you want to deeper understanding of 3ds max if you want to create a extremely super and beautiful visualization i can teach you how you can do that and if you will work on the course i'm sure that you will get extremely cool result with with what you will happy with so um antonina send you a link where you can read all the information and you can apply uh on one of the um packages i don't know how to say minimal progressive maximal maximal is with the uh, individual lessons with me like personally you can work one by 
one by one. Um, I'll just uh, have a, a video call with you. I'm talking with you. I'm showing stuff only for you. Uh, progressive is with the support chat and minimal. If uh, uh, you don't need any support, you pretty confident. Um, probably you can use a uh, minimal, but usually minimal. Um, uh, buying the people who already did some beginner scores, they know how we're working and uh, they more or less confident. So they know our step-by-step -step system. They just want to improve some of the knowledge. So they usually buy the minimal. Progressive is for the most of the people uh, who need support, who need to um, extremely fast uh, answer to your questions. And the minimal, um, sorry, and the maximal is for the people who uh, want some personal work uh, with me and when you finish your work of course we will give you some diploma and you will happy with that so guys uh, the course starts very very soon in the May uh, we have 16 leave lessons we have homework check we have super cool support um, and we have extremely good results from our student and I'm sure you will get also good result if you will join. So join now. Also, we have a special prices uh, for people who own this workshop. Uh, we just started and open um, this course so you can join and you will get the special price for this course if you will click on this button and uh, apply to the course uh, till the midnight. And tomorrow we will call you, um, prevent you all the answer to your questions if you have and help you to join the course. I hope it was informative, interesting, and I will see some of you on my course. And let's go to your questions because I'm talking too much today. Okay. Uh, no, not here, but I'll probably on YouTube. Yeah, well, I'm dragging here. So questions. Can I see it? I can. Uh, <laughs> focus it, yeah. Corona takes forever and there was a the solution for it. Oh, upgrading PC. I can see the question from the previous one. You can answer again uh, and I will answer it exactly you asking for. Ah, probably the animation, since someone said F-term, F-term, yes, is for animation. That was fun, looking for the next episode. Yeah, next one will be some other fun, but also fun with different kind of uh, interior. Uh, what about nightstand? Yeah, uh, about nightstand, I said that uh, it you should take the same... Um, type of creation of the mood material that we use for the floor generator but instead of the planks there will be just one uh, wooden texture so where is our floor so because our uh, workshop is already too long if we we'll customize the this material as well it will be even longer but instead of the planks you just take the regular wooden texture uh, oh yeah in multi texture well I have some here yeah just one texture like solid one not the planks and do the same so uh, customize the uh, diffuse color then add some reflection and reflection glossiness and you will get a nice result for the wood because it's kind of the similar that's why I didn't customize it Yeah, I just answered this question. For the panels, for the table, it's all the same material, just... After the course, uh, will we be available to speed up our work and to create realistic render like you do? Uh, well, it's more like up to you if you will work hard, if you will understand good, um, and if you will practice because of the speed 
of your work is uh, usually depend of the practice. As more you practice, as more uh, you will speed up your work. So as more projects you will do, uh, the next ones will be faster, 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 faster. So the speed is more like from not from the course. From the course you will get understanding. From uh, the practice you will get speed. I think. After the course, we will will we have um, will. Uh, we still have access to the support chat or not. Um, we're not deleting the chat, so chat will be uh, with you, but our support is ending with the course. So support is during uh, four weeks. Well, actually uh, during five weeks because we have uh, four, uh, four weeks uh, for the main course in one week, so you will um, have time to finish your work. So during five weeks, we have full support. After that, it finishes. Sometimes we um, answer the question like, later but it's not that uh, fast like it was before so if we see some question we can answer it but not as fast as before after course after course uh, before and um, during the course like extremely fast after course time to put time if we have time we will answer if not then sorry but not uh, but you will have um chat so maybe some other students will have uh, answer to your question that also works Uh, I'm using Max 22 after I download Corona 8, camera changed settings and now I can't work in camera, in Corona camera using button up and down at keyboard if you understand what I'm talking about. Um, actually, I never used this keyboard. Um, okay, let me stop render. Uh, but probably you can walk here, like you can um, switch in these buttons, try. Also... No, it's just zoom out, but yeah, I think this one is for walking, so you can try. I didn't use up and down button, never. I just use um, mouse button and um, top view, usually not, walking, not using keyboard only for rotation, for a zoom out, that's all. Uh, <laughs> love you guys, you're awesome, thank you. So guys, um, you can join course don't forget uh antonina saying one more time links thank you for coming um i hope i will see all of you next time you can bring some friends you can share this link to your social media and say look what we have um what kind of cool workshop we have and share with your friends and um the next week will be a new episode new room so i really uh, hope that I will see you there and also don't forget if you will uh, customize some workshop you can share in Instagram, uh, mention us um, and um, we will see your result, what you will got, uh, your, what you got, what you will customize. I'm really curious about your wooden material that you will do for the table and for the planks. I'm sure you will uh, do it really nicely and see you uh next time bye bye